This is a B2 video looking at the correct conditions for the breakdown of meat. So we are going to set up this practical, we're going to leave it for a couple of weeks to get the results and then we're going to see um, which conditions provided the best environment for this meat to be digested. Okay, so our big question is, what are the best conditions required for proteins to be broken down by the protease enzyme pepsin? So I've got some pepsin here. I've got some hydrochloric acid, and that's because the stomach is full of hydrochloric acid, pH two, and that's where we find pepsin. And I'm gonna create three different situations. So we've got pepsin on its own with the meat, hydrochloric acid on its own with the meat, pepsin and hydrochloric acid together. So I'm gonna put some of the meat into each of the tubes. Got some boiling tubes here, and I'm gonna put the put some bungs on the top so that they're not gonna to be too smelly. Get a decent amount in there. We'll use all of this up. Okay, and then I'm going to fill the tubes with what they say. So hydrochloric only in this one. Just covered the meat there. Uh, pepsin and hydrochloric in this one. There goes that bell again. And there's the pepsin going into that one, which is the enzyme. It's a protease enzyme. And then pepsin only in that one. So bungs go on because these can be left for at least a week, maybe two weeks, and then we'll review them. And the question is, is it really important to have that hydrochloric acid in the stomach, okay? Will the pepsin digest the meat on its own? Or will the acid digest the meat? I think we know the answer to that already. Or does the pepsin need the hydrochloric acid in order to digest the meat? So we'll leave those, and second part of the video will be in a couple of weeks. So about a week has passed and I've got my three tubes. Each of them have the meat in, one hydrochloric acid only, one the enzyme pepsin and hydrochloric acid and the other one just pepsin. Now what we're trying to prove here is that acid is essential for pepsin to work but it's pepsin that breaks down the food. Okay, so it breaks down the meat I should say. So we've got the hydrochloric acid with the meat on its own. I'm gonna try and give that a good shake. And you can see it still looks very much like minced meat. It's still in those kind of coils of, of meat. So the acid has not digested the meat, okay? To make it very clear, acid does not break down or digest food. It merely creates the right conditions for enzymes to break down the meat. So that hasn't, decomposed, hasn't digested at all. Then we come to the pepsin on its own. You can see it's definitely taken uh, the blood out of the meat, um, but the meat is still, there you go, still very much intact, looks like meat. Looks a bit more like fat really, doesn't it? Um, but give that a shake and we can still see that the meat is very much intact and it has not been able to digest it. Leave it long enough, it probably will digest it, but the conditions weren't great. The pH wasn't at the optimum for the pepsin to work. And then we come to our third uh, tube where we've got the hydrochloric acid creating acidic conditions. We've got the pepsin, which really works well in those acidic conditions, call it the optimum conditions, the best conditions. And we can see, if I give that a shake, you can see it's very much broken down. It's a lot more uh, loose in its movement there. You can see 
um, it's definitely digesting down. If I leave it longer, obviously it will try to digest more, uh, but I've left it long enough to prove the point of what I'm doing. Okay, so the hydrochloric acid creates the acidic conditions in the stomach needed for the enzyme pepsin to break down meat. Okay, so the importance of acid in um, digestion. Acid not doing the digesting, just helping the pepsin out, creating the right conditions, the optimum conditions for the pepsin. Let's go back to our practical sheet. So we've answered that question now. How could we make trypsin digest the meat? Now, pepsin likes acidic conditions, works in the stomach. If you remember, I might have said in the gums to bums video that um, protein is broken down into peptides by pepsin in the stomach. That Those peptides then go to the small intestine where they're further broken down into amino acids using that enzyme trypsin. Now trypsin is still a protease enzyme breaking down protein, but it does that last bit of pulling all of those molecules apart. So trypsin works in the small intestine where some bile has been added from the liver which was stored in the gallbladder, and it's more alkali, okay? So trypsin likes alkali conditions, so when all of that contents from the stomach goes into the small intestine, it needs uh, more alkali conditions by the bile uh, to enable the trypsin to get to its optimum conditions. Okay, so that was our extension. It's fine to remember protein is broken into amino acids. The peptides is kind of the in-between stage, so don't worry if you can't remember all of it. Um, but we've got protein breaks into amino acids. Okay, that's the simple version. The longer version is protein is broken into peptides by pepsin in the stomach. And then those peptides are broken down into amino acids by trypsin in the small intestine. Hope you found that useful. Hit subscribe. Thank you.